national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Joe. <laughs> he just made a great reference. We're talking. We, we, we we're kind of talking about sexual innuendos that originally weren't sexual, but have somehow morphed into something sexual. Well, it's just, it's just phrases that actually don't mean anything sexual, but through society and what they've come to mean, they become sexual. Such as? Such as um, <laughs> getting lucky. That's that's not sexual, but it is, it is associated with being sexual. Same thing with one thing leads to another. Well, that's not sexual. One of my favorite sexual, phrases, by the way. But everybody... Yeah. You know, well, assumes. because I think one thing leads to another can actually apply to some sort of uh, romantic physical encounter but one thing could lead to another and you got shot in the face also in yeah. everything i mean yeah. it's not just so i go into the bank one thing led to another <laughs> i had to have reconstructive surgery <laughs> now this is the afterlife that's how i became dead <laughs> <laughs> oh i, I do have breaking dead. news uh it turns out the cia has just reported that it was actually an asian man who killed jfk his name was no one <laughs> Mr. One, Mr. No One. <laughs> that hurts me, Caleb. <laughs> um, was he on the grassy knoll? <laughs> I knew there was a second shooter. No one was from nowhere. <laughs> Did you see that, that news bit about that plane that crashed? What? I can't hear you. Your mic's too far away. Did you see your that mic's news? too far away. <laughs> Did you see that news? It was on the news. Did you see it? About a plane that crashed? Did a you see this? Have you heard about this? Did it have to do and with the president or the Japanese? A, somebody had, did a prank and they released... Oh, the that was the... so horrible. What? That somebody didn't notice that. They made these fake Chinese... I want to... Okay. Asian um, Asian names of... Uh, it was, what, of a plane crash? Or yeah, and the pilot. Oh, they yeah, and they the reported... That was yeah. from several weeks ago. And <laughs> they sat and they named these names... How did that producer let that get bu get by? Well, they read that the names, but so all the foolish. names were like sexual in nature, like well, it big wasn't one dog. It was like it was one big dog. It was crashing, like, dying jokes, like we too low. Was yeah, one we of them. That's the one I can it's remember. Just, <laughs> oh, that's bad taste that's right awful. there. I, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was. I did don't people know how... actually die in that plane crash? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought the whole thing was made up. No. It was awful. Like the flight one sixty nine. All the names are real. The stories are made. Boy, I love it when people just die. Fatalities, that gets me. This one's pretty rough. This is pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Yeah, it's pretty it's black. It's okay. We're three minutes into it. Keep going. We'll be all right. <laughs> if we'd offended anybody, I don't care. <laughs> You've probably already stopped watching by now, so I'm not that I'm not that worried about it. Not too worried about it. <laughs> we feed on your negative energies that you send our way. Yeah. When you don't comment on us, it just makes us stronger. <laughs> Usually when I do push-ups or something, Here it makes me Here we are, born to be kings. Did I tell you about the time I was born in the highlands of uh, Scotland? <laughs> in the 18th an episode of that didn't get to air, ironically, yeah. because of you. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things in my years. You know, I saw the Civil War, which we actually just talked about. We won't get into that because it was a little pff, crazy. Some people got hurt. Some people got hurt. They oh, tried actually. to kill me. They did not succeed. You have to. Do you think Trey is yeah. secretly Wolverine because you know he was in the Civil War? That's true. Wait, was he? Yeah, he was. Wasn't yeah, he? It was he him was, and his bro. He was his bro in the movie. And it turns out, remember, I guess it was during one of the World Wars. I still haven't seen the new Wolverine. Kabam! Uh, but he saved that Asian dude, and then the Asian dude came back later, oh. who was a Pardon. billionaire, and tried to like. Free him. Touch him. <laughs> but what I'm doing with my hands, I don't know. One thing led to another. <laughs> one thing leads to another. It's good song. Actually, it's, it's one thing leads to another. Oh, uh, another one that we forgot to mention. Come back home. We forgot to mention uh, turning home, it, turning on someone, turning someone on. When you See, that's sad too. We've lost Caleb to song <laughs> no, and it's, dance. No, it's good. It's background music. No, it's a James Taylor song, man. It's so good. It was from. I believe what I called that was uh, acoustic. Crap, crappy acoustic, whatever. Is Screw like you, that. Trey Rents. Mm. That was an unaired un episode with Hells for Children. We didn't. We that didn't one didn't get released. No. Oh man, I want to piss some people off. Just to let you know, we we recorded three <laughs> audio. They don't need to know this. Uh, whatever. The things that are coming I out of your we were mouth. Just talking, <laughs> like a talk show. Well, if we're gonna talk about stuff, make it a good one. Make it a good one. 
Joe, go ahead. Give us your bit on the secret. I want to hear this. Oh Lord! See, oh, you put did me on you? The spot. I don't work well on the spot. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Caleb. I don't work well on the spot. Well, sit on the other spot. I don't remember. Get off the spot. X marks the spot. Get off that X, would you? <laughs> the secret of high society, folks. Folks. I don't. I. I have nothing now. I completely have nothing. And because well, the the secret is it was a book. And this it was a about good things. Good things happen. It was it was a book about, and I've actually never read the book. Maybe and I, we should. Nor talk will about I this. ever read the book. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about like back when baseball was segregated. That was a good time. Because of the movie, right? No. That stupid movie that you want to see that nobody else does. Apparently, Trey Rince think what Jackie Robinson did is stupid. He didn't do anything. Yes, he did a lot. He just stayed. That's doing something. He didn't quit, is it? man. So if I sit in one place oh against God. all odds, <laughs> hey, I don't care about sports movies. I don't care. It's not just about sports, man. It's about the evolution that our society took through and sports. And how he started it, yes. That it's, just gets the idiots to come watch it because all they care about is sports. No, that's not true. It's a historical, so. factual event about how I think white takes... people didn't accept black people and how... They begin to merge. You know what another good movie is like, like that? that? Mississippi Burning. That's one. Never that was saw made it. Twenty years ago. It's Never a good saw one. Why, Why would it? I want to watch a movie about a state being burned down? It's not being burned. Well, then they it's should have titled it something else. It's, it's very out. misleading. I hate misleading movies. I mean, titles of movies, like uh, Wolverine. He's not really a Wolverine. He's it's a just person. his name. Yeah, he is. He's a man. Wolverines aren't even real. Yes, they yeah. are. <laughs> See, you just admitted that he's a Wolverine. No. I admitted that he's a person named Wolverine after an animal called the Wolverine. Yeah. They really have animals. He was into me. And then see in the Wolver in the movie The Wolverine, the uh the Soviet Union comes to America and and invades us. See, and then we have to Wolverine leads a band of of freedom fighters. Ragtag freedom fighters. Ragtag freedom fighters called get this, the Wolverines. Whew. Yeah. And they lock up all the parents, and the kids have to save the day. I fell asleep there for a second. I did too when I watched the movie. Actually, I didn't, but I wanted to. Oh, uh, I, I didn't even try to watch it. Did. You guys ever fall asleep in class in high school? I was homeschooled. Really? Yeah. We so the answer is yes. Nap. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever fall time? asleep yeah. in high school? No, I I learned. I fell asleep in tech, though. If that's any validation of anything. Well, yeah. I mean, it's schooling, I guess. They do teach you guys things out there, right? Yes. Okay. What Hopefully. do you remember, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, I don't remember well, Jack. We had movie night. And if you could bring your guitar if you went to the computer lab, you could play your guitar in the computer lab. We learned a lot then. <laughs> Those are good times. We I learned think. a lot about life. Like you can do anything you want to. Remember, what was but that you'll one pay dude's in the name? end. <laughs> what was that one dude's name? Remember he took naps all the time. Nappy and McGee. I was terrible <laughs> to him. I'm not even gonna get into that. Nappy McGee sounds like he had bad hair. <laughs> We all called him Nappy. <laughs> hey, Nappy! He sank into a deep depression. He was red Then he started sleeping all the time. <laughs> he never woke up from his rest. Oh. He took we had a memorial service and... later that year. We all came. They never found the body. <laughs> he loved tulips, so most of us brought tulips. <laughs> Some of us it's brought a happy four. flower. <laughs> <laughs> this is just awful. This is the worst. John Stothel? John St St Stothel? Total protonic reversal. Hey, I got it right that time. Stuff. It still sounds weird, though. It does. Because you want to say pluton platonic. Plat 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 plateau. Did you guys see a few weeks ago on uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon where John Stamos came back as the guy in Full House and he had his band there? Uncle Jesse? Uncle Jesse and the Riffers. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Joe thinks that's vomitorious. Vomitorious. It's a vomitorium. You know, Uncle Jesse liked the Beach Boys. Who doesn't like you the know, Beach Boys? You know, if the Beach Boys is one of your favorite bands, I don't have respect for you. Those guys are can they sing. A band they got mad really? no, sing no, skills. No, they're very good singers. Sing songs. Songwriters. Brian, what? Maybe they what's are good songwriters. Because they wrote catchy songs. But they if you're gonna wrote make it in the, the music same business. catchy song with subtle variancies. I don't know. Help me around. People are still doing the same thing today. Huh? huh? What? People are still doing the exact same thing today. 
Yeah, but they're not good either. Help me get her out of my heart, Rhonda. No, those are decent songs. They're good songs, but I would never consider them to be one of my... I would If somebody puts them in there, like, if you got to pick your top ten bands and you say the Beach Boys in there, then I... Well, it's because, many, it's because the age of the person. No, know, like no, someone I'm right. a Beatles fan, but the Beatles have diversity. Hmm. Yeah, you got the crap, and then the really crappy stuff, the one good song, and then the, all the other crap. What's the one good song? It's the uh, Fool on the Hill. That's a good one. I really like that song. Fool on the Hill? Isn't that what it's called? Never heard Fool of it. Fool on the Hill. It's a good song. Speaking of Fools on the Hill. <laughs> fools are not here. Speaking, speaking of Fools on the Hill, we're going to get the hill out of here. Check you later, homie. Check us out online. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. <gasps> Facebook. Dot com dreams. slash talking the talk, Twitter dot com slash talking the talks, YouTube dot com slash the talking the talk, and eat some cheddar while you're at it. Sure, it'll stop you, but if you're a dog, it'll kill you.